now it's time for one of our most important steps in the process. It's time to clean this table up. Now's the time where you can look this table over real good. Make sure you don't have any problems with the table. The last few steps to cut the string. In These corner pieces are made of wood that slides down in the corner of the table in the packaging so when you stack the tables they don't collapse on one side. Inside the box here the legs are packaged in pairs, one on each end of the box. Helps to distribute the weight in the box so the box is evenly weighted on both ends. We have our pocket box in the center. Our rails are in the center. Our support beams are banded together on one side of the box. Then our cabinet is in the bottom of the box. Then we have our hardware package. Everything from the rail bolts to leg bolts. All of our components are here. Then in a separate package is our blind brackets. Now we'll open a rail box and start our inspection process. It's important that this is done before you ever start covering the rails to make sure that there's no finish problems, no dings or dents. There's nothing worse than getting to the customer's house and have to tell him that, well, we've got a problem with the rail, so I've got to come back. So that this will cure all of those problems. There's several things we want to check on the rail here, the finish on the underside of the rail. We'll check the edges of the rails. You'll see several stamps on the bottom of the rail. This is so you'll know what location on the table the rail was in. There's a quality control stamp on the table, a finish stamp. This is all information that you will need to give to Legacy if there's a problem with the rail. You'll notice where the rail bolts go in on the bottom of the rail that there's plugs been pulled out there, the T-nuts been put in, been epoxied back in. This gives us the ability to put more torque on the rail when we're putting the rail on the table. You'll notice that all around the edge of the rail there is a relief area there. This is for your staples to go in when you put your cloth on the table. It's important that your staples be in this area so the rail will sit flat on the table as you bolt it down. 